Let's talk about Gilbert syndrome and toxins. Parts of the liver called the phase two pathways process certain toxins, for example, pollution, chemical fumes and chemicals and some drugs. This process is called glucuronidation and it's been reported to be 31% slower in the typical person with Gilbert syndrome. Numerous studies have shown various drugs are processed less well by people with Gilbert syndrome. Many of the resulting symptoms of our liver's reduced ability to do the cleaning it's designed to do include jaundice, nausea, fatigue, shakiness, bowel complaints, even vomiting, and brain fog or difficulty concentrating. These are experienced in varying degrees by those with Gilbert syndrome. Doing some particular things may make these symptoms worse by placing extra stress on your liver. Missing meals, lack of sleep, vigorous exercise, illness and stress can all bring on the symptoms. One important way to keep your liver working as well as possible is to keep your blood sugar level stable. This is because the enzyme we don't have much of uses sugar to help get rid of the toxins it's supposed to deal with. We can also fool the liver into making more of this enzyme by eating certain foods. Diet and Gilbert syndrome go hand in hand in managing your symptoms.